Sup, dude and dudettes, this is Froggy2K9, and today I'm Delta doing a commentary on Modern Warfare 3. This is my first AC-130 I've got. I plan to get many more. I don't play Modern Warfare 3 that, o that often, especially on Xbox 360. And I just got a Skype. One sec. Um, alright, okay, fair enough. That's just somebody talking to me a minute. Okay, so, the thing I wanted to talk about this this commentary was the fact that I am going to do a parody soon parody for a song. I know what song it is, and it's purely for entertainment values only. I am not a good singer at all, but my friend just gave me the idea uh, today because I had like come up with some quick lines to replace the actual lines that were in there. They were pretty funny, so hopefully it goes good, and you find it funny too. I uh, don't care if you don't think I can sing. I don't think I can sing. I'm just going to agree with you. I don't think I can sing. I'm a really bad singer. So, don't complain about that. The, the lyrics will be written by me. I am not a lyrics writer. It's not what I do. It's not my job. It's it's not my hobby. I don't do it often. So, don't expect those to be... Those? Is it? Yeah, those. To be very good either. And I just want to talk about some, something else as well. I seem to have some sort of speech impediment that grows upon me when I put on my headset to talk over Xbox Live, PS, uh, Steam, PS3, whatever I'm on, I seem to gain some sort of magical speech impediment that causes me to replace letters and words, misplace words, and say Heads words up. wrong completely, spotted. or suddenly gain an accent that comes out of absolutely nowhere and I don't really plan on doing it. I uh, just wanted to give you that heads up, so if you see any really weird words that I that I post up or, or I say something weird, that's just because of my magical speech impediment that comes out of absolutely nowhere. So with the AC-130, the best layout for the AC-130, I think, is Predator Missile Reaper AC-130. This will get you AC-130 nice and quickly. Predator Missile will generally take you straight to the Reaper, as you saw there, I got through triple kill. Usually you'll get double kills with it, especially if you're pretty good with finding out where the people are who are hidden from the kill streaks. And I can do that as well. I, I love doing that, hunting down other people using the people that are already moving. As I saw, I, I dropped down the people who were inside the building. And generally, the Reaper will take you straight to AC-130 because the Reaper is absolutely brilliant in that. Your Reaper will generally get you a lot of kills, especially if you can take the people out that are trying to rocket launch you. And this is quite hard, especially seeming as they have like kill streak protection or something on now. It's really weird and should not be in the game at all. The thing about a kill streak is you've I, you fought for an 11 kill streak. Now I know I didn't. I built up to my AC-130 using other kill streaks, but it's the same thing. I built up to my Predator missile. You know. Who says, who says I couldn't bring it, who says I couldn't break up to my AC-130 in other ways? I mean, I've been on PS3 and I've gotten about four AC, four or five AC-130s on P PS3. I haven't been on that long, I it was only playing like a week and I got about four or five AC-130s, something like that. And only one of them I actually built up to using the other kill streaks. One of them, the, the Reaper got taken down. Two or three seconds after it went up, it reared down really quickly. My Predator missile didn't get me a single kill, I hit a roof. And my AC-130 didn't even get a kill, it got taken out a few seconds before it, well, a few seconds just after it went up. So, I can build to my kill streaks. I, can pr I proved that I can build to my kill streaks. so I am on, especially Call of Duty 4, I mean, they, they should bring, like, extra kill streaks to Call of Duty 4, like, do an update for it or something, like a super update, and get rid of the hackers, kick all the hackers out, and bring some new kill streaks to the game, like, break out, break out the nuke nades, just stop them, sort of patch them up a bit, or go back to World of War, you know, that game was amazing, bring some more weapons to World of War, Patch that bloody MP40, kick the hackers out, and then let's have some fun. There's so many things that you can go back to. I mean, just taking World of War for example, I would love to have World of War Mark II with the hackers gone and the MP40 nullified, and I will be a happy gamer. 
that that's what really would make me happy just just that simple little simple little idea Kill confirmed. so is there any old games you would like to go back to but can't because of some some weird reason I mean like say take the Halo 2 exam for example the Halo 2 from all the way back in the original Xbox days I think it was the original Kill Xbox was Halo 2 and they shut down the servers I can't believe they shut down the servers. It's like you can only play LAN now, which is really not that good. But anyway, Halo Reach, I uh, cannot continue the playthrough, so that's completely locked down playthrough. It's it's staying on one episode, I know, but it's just gonna have to be like that because I've lost all the footage and. We got like through so many levels and I cannot be asked to do them again. To play on Legendary is to repeat the same map 16 times. That's Enemy That was the experience I had anyway. It's not like me playing on Veteran across the Call of Duties. I can blast through the entire campaign within 2-3 hours. It's not like that at all. It's, it's constant stop. Restart, 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 grind it through to the next spawn, restart, respawn, 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 grind through to the next spawn. That is what it's like playing on Halo Reach Legendary. It's a bit like Halo 3 Legendary. It's what is supposed to be really, really, really hard. But then again, World of War was really hard. Why was it really hard? Not because there was unlimited spawns. I mean, I dealt with that in COD 4 nice and easily. Unlimited spawns is not hard to deal with. You just need to move up really smartly. And when you play smart and move up nice and smart, then you'll find you'll get through quite easily through to where they'll stop spawning or they'll start the next spawns off. What made World of War hard was the massive, massive amounts of nades that came from the bots. I think the bots all spawned with like four nades each and their programming or something told them to throw the nades at every possible situation they could. So every single time they can possibly throw a grenade, they throw it instantly. So you got spam-nated. As soon as you spawned in, as soon as you started to move up and you saw the enemy spawning, that was it. You had, through the rest of that campaign, through the rest of that little map, you had markers that show grenades all the way around you the entire game like through the through the entire thing all the way up until the last mission i spent every moment in veteran on that thing surrounded by the grenade markers it's insane it really is one warfare 3 they seem to have dulled it down i don't know it seemed to be much easier than the other call of duties to play on veteran those that don't know, when I get a new game, I switch it up to the hardest difficulty and I play through as I grind and I grind and I'll grind all day long if I have to. If I have to, I will wait three or four days to continue playing it, but I will play it as hardest difficulty first time through. That includes everything. I played Minecraft on its hardest difficulty the moment it came out, and the moment it hardcore came out, switched up to hardcore. But we do lose this match, and... After I get my AC-130, it just turns all hell breaks loose and it turns bad for me. So, I end up unhappy at the end of this because we lost for one. And no matter, no matter how many people are killed, it didn't seem to matter. They didn't seem to pick up the dog tags at all. I don't know, the team just didn't want to pick up the dog tags. Usually, I can leave dog tags when I kill someone. When I kill someone, I will leave their dog tag for someone else to pick up. Because, you know, it's, it's fair game, it's points for them. That's what I see it as. It's free points for them so they can level up a bit faster, get their weapons faster, get their get their next get their next level unlocked faster. That's, well, that's why I see it. It's, it's helping my team not getting the dog tags, but not getting the dog tags can also not help my team. Right there, bloody stealth bomber went through the entire team and it only killed me. What an ass. Anyway, so yeah, I generally leave my dog tag, so if you see me in a game and you see me in a kill confirmed, just run ahead, go pick up my dog, go pick up dog tags that I've just killed, I don't care, you take them, they're all yours, they're fair game. 
So this has been Froggy2K9. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Happy days, guys.